Hey guys, um, I thought I would do a haul video. If this is not your thing, I totally get it. You know, just bye. I'll see you another time. Um, this is stuff I picked up in Arizona. And yeah, it's just a couple of cute things. Um, two things I got in Hobby Lobby. Um, I like to go in stores in other cities and see if there's a, you know, variation of, of items sometimes. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, the first two things that I got, I actually sent to my friend Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. So she may do a video and you may see um, similar items um, in her video. The first thing I got was this little squishy, like it, um, chenille, I think it's called. And it's a little tiny chenille pumpkin and it's squishy and it's cute and it's got a little cinnamon stick. Yeah, it doesn't really have any scent left. Oh, I could probably replace that, right? Um, yeah, so her desk and my desk may have similar items on them. So, hi, Gail. Uh, the other thing I got her was this dish towel. She has a different, I sent her a different design. And it's called these Swedish dishcloths. And they are made of wood pulp and cotton and they are reusable and biodegradable and it eliminates up to it says right here 17 rolls of wasteful paper towels and the ability to wash and reuse this swedish dish cloth over and over and over again um and then you can sanitize it in the microwave um anyway there's a whole bunch of directions on here but it's this it looks like I don't know what this it's kind of like it kind of feels like that corrugated cardboard um that sometimes like goes in dividers and packaging anyway i'm gonna wet it right now so you can see it okay so i wet it and it's like a super thick very very durable um washcloth so yeah i just thought that was really pretty neat um idea and yeah environmentally friendly so but i'm gonna oops put this out of the way over here yes <clears throat> then i was in this bead store and they had all kinds of beads ranging from like 10 cents to i don't know 90 dollars a bead it was a little insane but i picked up these three beads and i because i couldn't decide on the color i didn't have my um, traveler's notebook with me that day. I think I had left it back at the hotel or something. Um, so I couldn't decide which bead I, I wanted. So I bought all three and they were only 40 cents a piece. So I can swap them out seasonally or when I just get bored. And it has a nice big, um, opening on there for the, uh, elastic cord. So yeah. So that was some cute little beads. I bought some because I always have to buy soap or candles or something when I go away. It's something about bringing the scent back with me that, I don't know, I just always need to do. And this was a frankincense and sandalwood soap. And they sell them. a lot of their supermarkets there are kind of like a supermarket slash Whole Foods slash drugstore kind of crossover. So they have a lot of um, soap displays there. And um, I've purchased their soaps a couple of times, you know, in different scents. And this time I got the frankincense and sandalwood, I think it was. Yeah, and it just smells really outdoorsy and very pretty. So that was a little something. Um, these I actually got in Hobby Lobby, and I just thought they were just too cute. I hadn't seen them in my Hobby Lobby here. Maybe I just wasn't looking, but I have a garden of plants on a, um, like, utility cart over here in front of the window. So I think I'm just going to hang these sort of among the plants there. So I just thought those were very cute. And then 
I got, well, I'll open this after. <laughs> we went to, on the way up to Flagstaff, we stopped in a craft market in Cave Creek. And if you ever are driving through, um, you need to go there. I've gone there, gone through there a couple of times and they've been closed like in the high heat of the summer. It's pretty much closed during the week and only open like on the weekends. But uh, this time they were open and they have gorgeous, beautiful pottery up there and lots of those um, lawn art and wind art. Uh, if you watch my stories a lot, I post a lot of stuff more in stories, um, like travels and different things. I don't post those things on Instagram for, I don't know, whatever reason. But stop in Cave Creek. It is a beautiful little city and um, gorgeous um, stuff from artisans. Anyway, I was already packing too heavily, so I had to kind of calm down. I couldn't really buy everything I wanted. Um, but I, they had this wood bowl, and I don't know. I just loved it, and it was hand-carved, and I think I only paid... Oh, yeah, no, I paid... I paid more than I thought I did for that, but I liked it and it was pretty. And oh, they also had it in uh, white too, which was really pretty. But um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it was a heart and it was pretty and I liked it. So I got that. And then I got why I bought this, I have no idea. I don't know who I thought was gonna eat this because I'm not. It's a scorpion um, sucker lollipop, uh, apple flavored. I don't know, maybe I'll make my husband <laughs> eat it and experiment and report back. I, I don't know what my impulse was to buy this, but I did. And then I got a ton of stickers. Oh, I was in a card shop and I just bought this because I love squirrels. And it's not a card to give away. It's actually a card I'm going to keep because he's so cute. And he reminds me of the squirrels we have around here. He's a chubby little one, isn't he? <clears throat> and, well, this is a birthday card for someone, so I can't show you that. Uh, this is, nope. It's just scraps of stuff from the What is, oh, I got some stickers, some Route 66 stickers. Um, I don't remember what this was. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I bought... No. Oh, yeah, I bought a bag in here. Um, like a tote bag. It's in my bedroom right now, so... I'll try to remember to put a picture in here or at the end. It's very pretty. <clears throat> And I bought a lot of stickers. And in some case, I bought multiples. We went to the top of Snowball in the wintertime, when it's, uh, in the summertime and springtime and fall, I guess fall. I don't know, in the off season when they're not running the uh, gondolas for skiing, they uh, have gondola rides up to the top of the mountain. So we went up to like 11,000 feet, so. I bought for my water bottle and, I don't know, maybe for my notebook. And this one was just very, very pretty. And some Route 66 because we traveled along there. And a Grand Canyon sticker. That was from when I was, uh, when I went to the Grand Canyon back in the summer with my husband. <clears throat> and from Winslow and another snowball ticket. Oh, I think I bought this for my son. I never forgot to give it to him. Anyway, then we were in an antique shop, and I found this little um, postcard. An old vintage um, postcard, so I'll put that in one of my journals. This is just, I don't know, I guess I saved a paper bag from something. Oh, I found this in the same shop as the um, postcard. <clears throat> so those will go in my... Uh, those will also go in my um, journal, some more stickers, 
and this was a really cute shop. Um, my cousin and I bought a couple of like sweaters and warmer things because it was really chilly in Flagstaff and I forgot when I was going to Arizona this time that I was going to be heading north and I thought it was going to be a little warmer than it was and it wasn't. So it was like 39 degrees every morning. So I purchased a sweater, but um, this shop in town, uh, Rainbow's End in Flagstaff, the woman who owns the place, is total sweetheart, um, very personable, uh, really just enjoyed the shopping experience and she wasn't pushy and um, they had some really, really cute stuff, mostly for younger girls. Um, but, you know, like I said, I just needed a sweater and um, so I bought one of those like really long kind of cardigan things, but so stuff for my journals and then we are in this other shop. Oh, I think this is where I bought the pumpkin. Yeah, where I bought the little chenille pumpkin. I also purchased these little, um, you may have seen them before, frogs. And this is, I don't know if this is, I don't think it's vintage, but it's like antiqued to look vintage. And they're frogs and they hold, you know, like pictures or a postcard or a quote or, you know, something, something like that. But I love the patina on it. It's sort of like copper and brass. Um, little frog. But it was heavy. <laughs> so. And what else did I get? Mm, nothing. Oh, I stole these out of my cousin's front yard. She has a, a sweet acacia tray. And because I love to pick up pine cones and things like that. <laughs> I'm such a weird duck. Um, I love these little pods. They just, I don't know. They're cute. And she leaves, when the pods fall off the tree, she leaves them there and, I don't know, something eats them. I don't know if it's javelinas or squirrels or what, but something comes along and eats all the pods because she leaves it little dish out there for them but the tree is really pretty too um and what else oh i bought this pillow i'll insert a picture here so that's the pillow i was talking about i um purchased it i think up in flagstaff so it traveled around arizona in the trunk of my rental car for a couple of weeks and then I shipped it home because I could not fit it in my luggage. And last week, I stopped in a little um, boutique, like five minutes from here. And I found the same exact pillow. So I didn't buy a second one. I didn't need two of them. Um, but yeah, that'll teach me <laughs> to curb my impulses when I'm uh, traveling. But... I like the pillow and it had a good journey with us anyway. So thanks so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye.